Hi, I'm Kirsty Spragan from Kirsty TV, and I'm here with my friend. I'm Alexandra Harbushka with Life with Herpes. And we're talking about herpes. Exciting. So today we're going to just have a little bit of a chat about has it impacted you in any way in terms of professionally being a roadblock? At this point in my life, no, because I made that decision to not be a victim to herpes. I think that's a really big thing that uh, when you're first diagnosed, we go into that oh my gosh, what's happened? And we go into that victim phase and why me? And why not my friends? And why not this? And this person's been doing that and why didn't they get it? You know, all that. Um, at th- yep, yep, <laughs> yeah, all of it. All of it. And at, at that point in my life, when I was in my late 20s, I was really struggling with my career. Um, you know, I was, I was in a relationship that wasn't right. And it was just, you know, you lose like that, that twinkle in your, your eyes gone or that, you know, the flame's gone or whatever you want. You're dying on the vine, whatever you want to say. You're just suffocating in your own little pity party. Really. I mean, like yeah. you're, you're dark. You're, there's nothing happy about you. There's no spark. And so there's no possible way. And I was, we were talking about this earlier. I was in sales. You were in sales, uh, similar, both yeah. in real estate. And there's just no way you can go into something with confidence when you're in that phase and I had to make a decision, I was either going to be this victim and go through life and just kind of live a mediocre life and settle and, you know, not, not marry the person I wanted to marry and, and and not have all those dreams come true. So it started with career. It started with, um, little things like smiling. I mean, it sounds silly. Being happy again. Yeah. So simple, right? But just smiling at people and, yeah. and everyone I met just, okay, let me just smile and, and see what happens. It's contagious. And so I realized that, Hey, I got to get this together. And I wanted to do it before I turned 30. Right. 30 was my big. So for you, this roadblock was a choice. It's it like, was a choice. okay, I'm showing up in this way. I'm letting it take over my life. I'm letting it affect my mood, my behavior. And you're going to choose that. I need my, to my show health, up in a new way. Mm. My health, all of that, you know, and it, it all is in the same component, right? Yeah. They all feed each other. If you're off in one area of your life, the other one can't be, can't right. be stellar. I think that also one of the ways that it shows up that most people don't have the self awareness, particularly if you're in the shame spiral. Let's just face it, you're you're probably not someone who's done a lot of inner work. I think right. that this is something that herpes can send us on a journey to if yep. we if we allow it. But in the beginning, I think that it shows up for a lot of people as a wall, as bravado. I went almost, and being in sales, I felt like it, in some ways, it made me more driven and more ambitious because this bravado, this I went into like hyper-masculine. Ah, okay. And so I feel like sometimes it can show up, even though it might appear positive and we might appear to have it all together on the outside, I had, you know, I was one of the top worldwide in my career, but dating and every other aspect of my life, drinking, binging, eating, the heaviest weight I've ever been, everything else was showing that I'm miserable and broken inside. Yep. And I think that that is a huge thing that I see with a lot of other people, particularly in their first sort of five years of going through it. If they're in that shame spiral and they haven't been able to pull themselves out, it's like they may not even realize the ways that they've started to mask, put up a wall to vulnerability, put up a wall to, you know, keep people out and be guarded. Oh, totally. Totally. Do you think that having herpes though has gotten you to where you are today? Had you not had it, you wouldn't be where you are. I mean, it has been the greatest gift in my life. Like I think that all, um, roadblocks, challenges, you know, everyone gets something in their life. And to be honest, if this is as hard as it gets, like we got away pretty easily. Yeah, um, I would agree. I've had a lot of, a lot lot of, of other of- harder things I've had to deal with in life than this. But at the time, I think that it's also, you don't want people to feel like they can't, you know, I hear sometimes people doing that comparison thing Well, I wasn't molested as a child, so it's not as bad, or I don't have cancer, I'm not dying, or I don't have HIV. And it's like, it's not helpful. Like, at the time, this was really painful for me and for you. Yeah. And we get to honor that, that this was hard to go through. Um, it's For anyone out there who's just newly diagnosed, it's the worst feeling in the world. It can also be incredibly painful, as we said, that first one was it is. not good. It yeah. is. But it's been my greatest gift as well. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to find more about us, you can check me out at Kirsty TV on YouTube and 
and you can go to Life with Herpes for more. And of course, if you're wondering about herpes diagnosis or treatment or anything to do with that world, go to herpalert.com.